guys welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel you know what time it is okay thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in this tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your infinite maxi dress now one thing i love about this dress is the fact that it only requires three measurements <laughs> basically to be honest with you guys this style requires just two measurements i'm telling you guys and this is a gown yes it is a gown and you don't need your shoulder measurements you don't need your bust measurements you don't need your shoulder to waist you only need you don't need your nipple to nipple there are a whole lot of measurements you don't need in this style and it is so unique especially when you are dealing with ready to wear dresses this form this style is actually one style i recommend and you can also use different fabrics to achieve this style you can use your african prints your crepe your chiffon your cutting fabrics you can basically use any fabric of your choice to achieve this style so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements our waist measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 our hip is 40 inches now the only reason why you need your hip measurements is to know the amount of fabric you want to place to give you your maxi gown it's just to know the amount of fabric required for you to place on your band now i know that you know there are times whereby you have enough fabric you want to place and you are placing on your band and you get to a point whereby you've exhausted the fabric you want to place and you still have like enough space on your band to pleat on there are also times whereby you have exhausted the amount of fabric you are pleating but you are not done yet with the band so in order for you to know the amount of fabric required for you to pleat what you are going to do is to multiply your hip measurement by three now why are we multiplying our hip measurement because the hip measurement for most women are usually the largest part of their body for their lower block right for the lower block of most women the hip are usually like the largest um measurement so I meant by three this will enable you to know the amount of fabric so if you have 40 inches for your hip 40 multiplied by three you have 120 inches now if you have fabrics that you know is not sufficient enough you know, peradventure you are working with fabrics that is not sufficient enough or you don't want your pleating to be too full multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 so first if you don't want your fab your pleating to be too full or you don't have enough fabric you are working with multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 but if you want it to be full and you have sufficient fabric multiply your hip measurement by three okay so our hip measurement is 40 40 multiplied by three we have 120 inches so 40 multiplied by three we have 120 inches so basically this is why you need your hip measurement just to know the amount of fabric required for you to please now our gown length is 60 inches so 60 inches is definitely from our shoulder length to our desired long length and don't forget that the style we are working on is infinite wrap dress so it's like a combination of two dress infinite maxi dress now to achieve this infinite part of this style what does this infinite part of this style means it means that you have like your infinite straps at the upper part and you can basically wrap it into different styles of your choice right you can wrap it anywhere you want it to be and it gives you different style depends on the occasion you are going for now your infinite area starts from your sh your waistline upwards from your waistline upwards which i'm going to explain in the course of this tutorial the amount of fabric you need for the length of your infinite area so if your infinite area stops at your waistline our waist is what so let's say shoulder to waist shoulder to waist i have 16 inches now before you ask me how did you come across shoulder to waist 16 inches i have a detailed tutorial on size charts i'm going to go ahead and put the link here please ensure you watch this tutorial after watching this so this size chart enables you to know how to calculate all your measurements shoulder to waist shoulder to knee nipple to nipple and all the measurements required and the standard for it i've also gone ahead because i love you guys i've also gone ahead to produce the printable form of size chart for you all so you can basically print it out let me show you guys what it looks like you can see this is like a very large 
um this is like a very large printable size chart i've gone ahead to compile the size chart together all you have to do to get this is to send us an email in the description box or message us with the whatsapp number in the description box so basically check out the description box for details on our email address or our phone number you can reach out to us there to order for your printable form or size chart and this comprises of so many measurements like your top length your gown length and the size chart is basically from size 4 to size 24 in from size 4 to size 24 we have shoulder to waist waist to hip we even have your tie when you want to deal with trousers okay so this is it i recommend that you guys should get it i recommend that you guys should go ahead and get this copy of your printable size chart especially when you are dealing with dresses whereby you don't have opportunity to measure your clients directly so please check out the detail check out the description box for more details on our email address and also send us a message or give us a call to order for your printable size chart so with that now you know that your shoulder to waist is 16 inches now what you are going to do now is to deduct your 60 inches which is your gown length from your infinite area so we'll go ahead now and deduct 60 inches minus 16 we have 44 inches so this 44 inches simply means that from your waist downward you are going to have 44 inches and from your waist upward you are going to have 16 inches now don't forget to always add your sewing allowance to your measurement so for this infinite now where we have 16 inches i'm going to go ahead and add one inch to it so i'm going to have 17 inches while for the lower part which happens to be our waist downward i'm going to go ahead and deduct my band so you are also going to include your band i'll go ahead now and include my band now the size of your band depends on what you want you can use like a tiny band or a big band it depends so if you want your band to be big let's say three inches you go ahead and deduct three inches if you want your band to be two inches you go ahead if you want like a tiny band of maybe one and a half you can go ahead and deduct it but i think basically from two inches upwards is fine so for me now my band is going to be two inches for my band so i'm going to deduct these two inches of my band from this waist to gown length i hope you guys get it you are going to deduct your band because your band is also included from your waist to your gown length so we'll go ahead now and deduct two inches we have 42 inches now so this 42 inches now is from after your band downwards you have 42 inches now what are you going to do now you still go ahead and add two inches for your sewing allowance and don't forget that because this is the lower part of your dress you are going to M it automatically so plus two inches now you have 44 inches now your band is two inches don't forget to also add your sewing allowance to your band plus one inch we have three inches so our band is three inches our waist to gown length is 44 inches and our infinite area we have 17 inches so the length of the infinite area i'm going to explain that in the course of this tutorial where we are cutting when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your infinite maxi dress if you want me to make the skirt version of this style if you're interested in me making the maxi skirt please go ahead and put that down in the comment section just comment that you want your you want a tutorial on the maxi skirt and i'm also going to go ahead and make this tutorial on how to achieve your maxi skirt don't forget to join us on facebook td designs on instagram t G designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training and don't forget to order your size chart it is so so important for you as a designer to have a size chart you are working with and one thing about this size chart is the fact that we can Produce the size chart to be custom made based on your customer size. I hope you guys love that. And don't forget that the size chart starts from size 4 to size 24. So now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. And please, if you have any question or any topic in the course of this tutorial, feel free to drop your questions in the comment section. Now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. So for me personally, you know, I love it when my maxi skirt sweeps the floor. If the skirt wants to be long, let it be long. If it wants to be short, <laughs> let it be short. But it depends on you actually, you know, 
if you want to make like a short form of mazu skirt you are still going to use the same method right or a mid skirt you are still using the same method but for me i want to feel like a rich anti vibes okay so i want it to sweep the floor as i walk so i'm going to make use of the old length which is 45 inches for the length of my skirt now for the amount of fabric required this way which will be your width multiply your hip measurement by three or multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 now how will you know you know which of these calculations should you use one it depends on the amount of fabric you are working with two it depends on how full you want it to be so if you want your mazi skirt to be very full multiply your hip measurement by three you are going to have it very full if you don't want it to be really full you can multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 but multiply by 1.5 or by 2 it is wrong it is not going to go around your waist okay so it's either you multiply by 2.5 or you multiply by 2 so my if measurement now is 40 inches 40 multiplied by 3 i'm going to have 120 inches so it means that for the width this way the amount of fabric i need for the width this way is going to be 120 inches so i'll go ahead now and measure 120 inches and show you guys what it looks like so guys this means that you know for the wideness this way we have 120 inches and for the length we have 45 inches so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so guys the next thing we have now is our band so for the wideness of the band i have about five inches by the time i'm done folding it into two this way i'm basically going to have two inches for my band so for the length of my band you are going to use your waist measurement which mine is 30 inches so i have 33 inches for the waist because i went ahead to add about three inches to the waist right because of the zip allowance at the back log so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and iron my stay my paper stay to the band just to give it a form of structure so that it can stand pretty well so once i'm done i'll show you guys what next you have to do so guys so guys this is the band right and this is the lower piece so what you are going to do now is you're going to go ahead and gather up all this fabric right which is your hip multiplied by three to your band and your band is your waist measurement so you are going to gather this hip measurement multiplied by three to your band and i have a detailed tutorial where i explained you know how to make use of your gathers foot so i'm going to make use of my gathers foot to pleat this on this band i'm going to put the link of the tutorial here please go ahead and check it after watching this video so this um ruffler foot helps you to gather up your fabric and one advantage of using like a gathers foot is that your pleating are equal because when you don't use like a, when you don't use gathers foot to gather this up you might end up that at the end of the day once you have if you don't use your gathers foot or your ruffler foot to gather this up you will also discover that there are times where you kind of like pleat your fabric on the band and at the end of the day your fabric seems not to be enough or you've gotten to the end of your band and then you still have so much fabric left if you've experienced that please put that in the comment section you know so that we can just encourage one and other so if you pleat manually it's either at a point your fabric might not be enough to go around the band or once you are done with the band you still have enough fabric left so but your gathers foot helps you to pleat it equally and please go ahead and watch this video i explained how to do that i'm not going to do that in this video because i don't want this video to be too long but you can watch the video i'll put on the screen here so now we'll go ahead and just gather this up to our band so you're going to gather all of this into your band so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now for the straps okay if what you want is like your infinite wrap um maxi dress so you need to have your strap so for the wideness of this strap now i have about 12 to 14 inches and this is because basically this is supposed to cover up like your bust area in the front block so i have 12 inches now i have two pieces of 12 inches and for the length i have about 70 inches for the length note that you know the longer your strap is the more so note that the longer your strap is the more you have like enough fabric to 
wrap across your body because basically you have to use this wrap to wrap across your body to give it like a very nice style so you can make yours longer and you can make yours shorter it all depends on you know how you want it to be at the end of the day so for my length now i have 70 inches by 12 on this part and also for this second piece also i also have 70 inches by 12 so the next thing so guys now we are done gathering it up so this is what we have you can see our uh, please we went ahead to attach it to our band and then we attached our stripes to the band so this is what it looks like so you can go ahead and give it a slit if you want to or you can just rock it this way like your pleated maxi skirt so you can see what it looks like and for the back block basically we went ahead to just you know attach our zip to the back block and of course your straps doesn't get to the back so for the back this is what you have just your band and then your pleats and this is so cute guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe